Okay, let's move into the next question. It's quite a short one, right? But it's important that we understand and are able to actually read through these questions. So it says, the graph below shows the prices of three types of fuel in Gauteng for the first three months of 2022. So here's the graph, right? It is a bar graph. You should be able to see that. It's not just any type of bar graph. It's a compound bar graph because each um, date or each thing, um, each data point along the um, x-axis at the bottom here, right? Each of it has more than one data point. Do you see that, right? That's what we call a compound, right? Generally, remember with bar graphs, we have time or some form of time along the bottom, generally, or a category along the bottom. And then here, we are going to have the cost, right? Interestingly here, cost is cents per liter, which is kind of odd, right? So just be careful when you're looking at this. This, this 500 that it's saying here is 500 cents, Right, so it's actually five rand. This one's ten rand, fifteen rand, twenty rand, twenty-five rand. So make sure that you're able to understand the mechanism of what's being shown. Okay, three different things: diesel, um, lead replacement petrol, or ninety-three unleaded, and then ninety-five unleaded. Okay, and these are all the different prices. So in all of them, you can see that diesel is cheapest, and in all of them, you can see that un ninety-five unleaded is the most expensive, and then the ninety-three is kind of in between. Okay, so that's sort of the interpretation you should be able to pull from this. Let's now look at the questions. So it says, use the graph above to answer the questions that follow. Name the type of graph drawn above, right? Remember I said to you, I've really talked you through this. It's not just a bar graph. It is a compound bar graph. It's not a histogram. Why? Because there are gaps between the different um, values along the x-axis. When there are gaps, it's a bar graph. When they are touching each other, right, um, it would be a histogram. So where there's no gaps in between the points at the bottom. Okay, so this is going to be called a compound, okay, 1.3.1, it is called a compound, right, you can call a compound a triple, um, a grouped, but I just like calling it a compound, compound bar graph, if you don't say the compound bit, you'll lose a mark, because there's one mark there, and there's one mark there, okay, so make sure that you're being as specific as possible. Then it says here, identify the type of fuel that costs the most in February 2022, February 2022, it is UL, ULP or it is going to be, I'm sorry, it's 95 ULP. So don't don't forget about the 95, right? So 95 ULP. If you wrote unleaded petrol, that's also completely fine, but make sure that you are, are identifying it correctly as this one here. Okay, 1.3.3. The price of diesel in March, 2022 was 1955,28 cents per liter, important cents. Okay, because students, when they did this question, they were like, goodness gracious, petrol is so expensive. It is, but this is in cents, right? So we're wanting to change this into rands. So it says here, write the price in rand per liter, round off your answer to the nearest 50 cents. Okay, so there's two things we need to do here. Firstly, let's convert this, 1955.28. That's in cents. Let's convert it to rand. How many cents are there in a rand? There is 100. So we take this. 1955.28 we divide it by 100 and it gives us 19 rand like this okay i'm not going to put the rand in front right now because remember with currencies you're only ever supposed to have two decimal places so now it says round off your answer to the nearest 50 cents okay let's look at this right what is the nearest 50 cents either we go up to 20 or we go down to 9 rand 19 rand 50 you should be able to see that this over here, right, it indicates to us that this 5 indicates to us that it's close to the 50 cents, right? If this was a, um, a 7, right, and that was 8, like if it was 78 cents, then we would round up. But it's closer to being 19 rand 50, right, and that is per litre. And that's what it wanted us to write. So it seems like a really easy question. It's not difficult, but students would get this wrong because they didn't do everything that was required in the question. So be careful with that. Okay, first question, done and dusted. That is 20% of the paper. Let's now move on to question two.